All right, guys. Uh, tonight, I've got a video that I've been uh, excited to do, mostly because I had ordered this from overseas, so it took a little while to get here, and uh, it was it was a tease waiting for it. So this is the uh, the Panda Tech. Uh, I think he calls it the mini map. I don't know. It is a mini map. Um, don't uh, don't hate me for it being very very similar to other mini maps that are out there. I'll justify why I'm okay with this product, uh, but it's uh, French, so don't hold that against him. And uh, aside from shipping times and a little bit of lead times, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, so I'll walk you through it, and uh, I'll show you how it mounts up because uh, it's it adds some nice features over what we know as the mini map. Mini map. All right, let's take a look at it. All right, so we got another video here where we got uh, JPC for scale. So why JPC for scale? Well, one of the options when you're ordering this thing, uh, because there are a ton of options on the website, is you can get uh, JPC2 zippers on it uh, so that it becomes a zip-on pack. So uh, I got those, and I was a little hesitant. One, because I couldn't remember... Uh, if it was specifically JPC2 that the zippers were compatible with. Uh, and then additionally, JPC zippers sit lower than basically anything else out there. So I was a little concerned with how it was actually going to made up. Uh, so I put uh, medium plate and backer in there uh, because that's also important. Sometimes zip-on items fit when there's no plate and then uh, not as well when there is a plate. So we'll, uh, we'll mount this up real quick so that you guys can see how it sits. And you can see that it zips on pretty easily, even with uh, plates in the carrier. Uh, the only issues here that slow me down are these, these tabs on the side here. <clears throat> All right, so it marries up. Uh, no, no issues with just the zipper there you can see because some of you weirdos get so upset by overhang here's the bottom of the plate bag here's the bottom of the pack uh, it is basically even depending on how you load the pack and and how heavy and and thin that item is uh, you could potentially get a little bit of overhang but really not much uh, the only concern that I have here is uh, the top of the pack is not supported super well. However, uh, I also got the rear Molly uh, webbing as an option. Uh, so you could you could play with that because it's all soft tab style and you could route the Molly up through here and then weave it a little bit and it would keep that uh, taut there. So yeah, you do lose the ability to, to super quickly remove the pack, but that's not really... It's really not the intent of the zip-on portion. Is It's not an immediate access kind of thing. So uh, with that in mind, we will get the, the JPC out of the way here uh, so that we can really talk about the plate in more, or the, the bag in more detail. So we'll unzip this. And get the JPC out of the way here. All right. We'll zoom in for you guys just a little bit here. Sorry. Dynamic camera movements. There we go. All right. <clears throat> if the color looks off, I apologize. I think it's just the, the combination of colors that are on this pack that's thrown it off a little bit. So looking at the back of the pack, uh, the main selling point to this uh, that justifies it to me being so similar to, to the minimap that we all know and love is the number of options that you have and the, the kind of a la carte method of ordering it. So this is his minimap version one. He has a minimap version two, which gets you a full clamshell pack, uh, but you lose some, some other options by doing so. So I think of the two, I'm still a fan of the, the version one. Not that I have a version two to compare it to, but uh, that's that. So uh, looking at the back, Having the molly webbing on there, I believe, is a add-on as you go through uh, ordering this. So the zippers are an add-on. Uh, the molly webbing on the back is an add-on. So if you only need one or the other, you can uh, pick and choose. 
I think the zippers are like $20 extra or 20 euros extra uh, because it's French. I don't remember what the ordering is in, whether it's dollars or euros. I apologize. And then the rear webbing is like 10 or $15. So my mindset was there. If I don't get the, the Molly webbing, and for whatever reason down the line, I wish I had it, uh, there's kind of no take backsies. I can't get that added on after the fact. And for $10 or 10 euros, you're kind of stupid not to get it, uh, just to add flexibility to it. Uh, if I want to use it as a standalone pack and not with the zippers, I'm going to need means to mount the shoulder straps, which I think the Molly webbing is, is what he says you have to do uh, to allow that. Uh, then you've got a whole myriad of other options that you can add to this thing. I don't remember all of them, uh, but I'll talk through them as best as I can. So the upper Velcro is an add-on. You can add on Velcro to this lower pocket. Uh, both of those are fairly small prices. You can pick and choose colors the whole way through here. So you've got your base color, which mine is obviously arid. And then some of the, the add-on options you can color match regardless of what pattern you get the pack done in. Other options uh, you can't necessarily color match. So the side stretch pockets, which I believe are an add-on, uh, are not color matched because there's not arid stretch in France. In, in France. Uh, so he went with the Ranger Green. I think I left it unspecified. Just you know, pick what works best. I don't know if I would have gone with the Ranger Green, but I don't think it looks bad. Uh, maybe I would have gone with Tan. I really don't mind. I think it looks great. Uh, either way, it's just not as well matched. The side pockets were very appealing to me uh, when I was going through the ordering process. They're not as stretchy as I thought they would be, so they are legitimately just uh, magazine pockets. So if you've got a uh, M4 PMAG, it fits in there fairly well. Takes a little bit of finagling. So the stretch is plenty to accommodate a PMAG. I thought it could potentially go up to like a commercial size Motorola. It cannot uh, by any stretch of the imagination. I think I put a Bofang in there and even that was really pressing, uh, pressing my luck. So it's really an M4 mag pocket on the side or something very, very similar to M4 mag size. Uh, you've got two compression straps, one high, one low. I can't remember if those are an add-on or not. As you go through the ordering process on his website, it's very, very clear what is included and what is not. I think the hydration routing up top is also an add-on option. Um, these tabs here are not, those are just standard. Uh, they give you the ability to lash anything that you might need to on the side or potentially mount this to something with just compression straps. Uh, kind of like the Mystery Ranch Hitch Hitchhiker. You could do that for sure. The bottom Molly webbing here and then shot cord is an add-on. Um, made sense to me. I can't remember how much it costs. They run through the grommets there and then through the Molly webbing. It allows you to hang a small coat or something off of your, your pack. It's not a very big pack, so having that kind of external storage for something that you might want to grab quickly, I think is a good option. Uh, if you're really trying to stretch the capacity of this thing, you could get a color matched uh, stuff sack made somewhere, potentially through Pan Attack. I don't know, maybe, maybe he'll take this idea and run with it. Uh, but if you had a small stuff sack that was kind of sized for the, the bottom of this, and it had its own kind of daisy chain webbing, you could potentially secure the, the shot cord through there so it doesn't you know, migrate side to side and fall out on accident. Several ways you could make that work. Um, and then you've got some added space there that is readily removed uh, if you don't need it. <clears throat> I believe the side tearaway pocket is uh, an add-on item. You have the, the kind of hidden pocket there between the two components. It has opposing Velcro on it to keep it closed. So if you're trying to put an insert in there, keep that in mind. It's, it's really like a, like a two M4 insert that would fit. Uh, and you're gonna need opposite side Velcro there. Oh, goodness gracious, I forgot that was in there. All right, <clears throat> uh, looking 
in this uh, this bottom pocket. I can't remember if there's an option to have it Velcro lined or not. If that was something that you really needed done, I'm sure you could request it. I do think it was an option. I just don't need that. And then the main pocket uh, Velcro lining, again, was an option. I went with that because it gives just some flexibility there. And uh, I believe the tie down loops are also an add on option. Uh, basically everything on here is an add on option. So the pack starts out at its base configuration, really affordably priced. And then it kind of quickly goes uphill from there. So I think all told this setup with no discounts or anything was $220 and then shipping from France, which was not super fun. Um, so it's not cheap, but it's it's not overly priced. Uh, it's cheaper than the comparable options. And I think it's, it's put together really well. Um, the attention to detail is there. Some of the like final assembly is more, more visible, I guess. Like you can clearly see that this external pocket is kind of just added on to the the base pack nothing wrong with it um actually it's kind of cool to see you can kind of piece together how it was assembled which is neat but it is very very similar to the sizing of of the the mini map that that kind of everybody has based this concept on um a lot more capability it, or a lot more potential capability is there depending on what add-ons you get really the only thing you lose from like the gmr style mini map is the the j j zipper on the bottom so that you can access the bottom of the pack uh, i have one that has it i've never used it i don't think i'm that flexible nor do i trust myself to open the bottom of a, a backpack blindly and try to pull something out so i'm not really missing that feature uh, the zip on feature is is pretty cool to me, uh, especially since I knew it was going on in JPC anyways. So that was neat. If you've got, you know, a, a 119 or a Pharaoh or something, the zipper's not going to play. I don't know if he has any plans to add that after the fact, but it's, you know, something to keep in mind that the JP, the, the zipper is for JPC too, uh, or an ABS. It'll fit on an ABS or an SPC just as well. <clears throat> but yeah, the, the pan attack mini map, it's kind of fun going through the ordering process until you see the final price, obviously, um, and experimenting with the different configurations. There's some add-ons that I'm sure I forgot. Uh, I think there's some other configurations you can do on this outer pocket aside from just Velcro. I can't remember, um, but they're there. Check it out. Uh, it was a very painless ordering process, and uh, the lead times are not, they're not astronomical. Uh, but you you are going to need to plan out the purchase because, again, it, it's shipping from France. So even if he made it tomorrow, uh, it's still going to take a little while to get to you. It's not Amazon Prime by any stretch. Uh, but yeah, Pan Attack Minimap, check it out. Uh, quality stuff uh, coming from Europe. The more I'm, I'm trying to get more European stuff on the channel just because some of the companies over there are doing some crazy stuff. Uh, this one, I think, is kind of one of those with the piecemeal option and, and being able to tweak it to whatever you need. Uh, and then, like I said, the version 2, most of the same options are available except for the side pockets because it's got the full clamshell zipper. In retrospect, um, the side pockets not being as stretchy as I thought they were, not as much as lost by getting the version 2, uh, but at the same time, it's such a small pack, I don't need the full clamshell capability. I'm sure you could find reasons to do it, maybe medical stuff, but I just didn't need it. I think it's a cool pack. I think I'm glad-ish that I left the the option up to him to to pick the colors on the sides. Uh, I thought I was gaming it, and maybe he had arid, but he did not have arid. So uh, there you go. Yeah, Pan Attack mini map. Check it out.